know, something I meant to mention at the very end of the um, last episode was the fact that I think it's so cool that Maurice LaMarche is voicing Nitrous Brio, which I find awesome because he's one of my favorite voice actors from a lot of the childhood shows that I used to watch. The main one being, of course, Pinky and the Brain, um, with him voicing the Brain, which is, he's awesome as the Brain. But anywho, what's going on, guys? This is Shadow HB3 here, ready to bring you another episode of Crash Mind Over Mutant. And uh, last time out, we went ahead and got the remaining three uh, parts of the Capacitron for Coco. And in this episode, uh, now that we've gone ahead and given them back to her, uh, so she could fire up a video, so we could watch some NASCAR, we found out about the Envy. We're going to go ahead and uh, fetch this mailbox over here, which is, you know, just somehow came to our doorstep. And we'll go ahead and get ourselves some really cool... Uh, Call. You know, yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. devices here. Oh my god! Somebody sent us envies! Ooh. And here's the cool thing. You have the in-game cutscene that's gonna start, and then immediately goes into an actual, like, animated cutscene. Which, I love cool. the fact that these cutscenes are, like, message. completely different. I just got a text message from Coco! I'm gonna reply! <laughs> I guess it doesn't like you, Crash? What have I got? Why is he poking the electric part with the I'll stick? Honest, guys. I don't see what the big deal is. And I love how Aku Aku can't fit it around his eyes. <laughs> and what have I got? Ancient? Of course. I, I forgot what I was going to say. And his eyes look I, all weird. Kill the bandicoots with violence and new holes! <laughs> so he must have kind of come through our area where we come were on, looking. Everyone. That's odd. We've got company. Can't talk? Watching monkeys! Look at the monkey! Oh, right in his own mouth! Looks I wonder like if that's supposed to be an homage for the Doom monkeys that were previously in the previous game, which honestly are not in this game. That was like a Matrix scene, I think, is what they were going for. But anyway, we have uh, some ratnitions here. That are uh, trying to, you know, attack us, and unfortunately, we'd have no way to uh, do anything about it here because Coco and Crunch are too busy with their envies to want to care about, you know, helping us out or lending a hand. Got away. We've got to find him, Crash. And now that we've, you know, done that, now we get to access a new, completely different area that we didn't beforehand. So we'll go ahead and go that way right now, but not before I at least. Hit Coco and Crunch while they're losing their envy. That was a good one. Really showed my change. A nickel came out. Tickle, tickle. That hurt. Little bit. My therapist told me to avoid this. Uh. Yep. Medic. All right, what do you got to say? <laughs> Said Medic. Your looks for that. Crunch is going to get you for that. Why? He's too busy with his envy right now, Coco. So, I mean, I think he's going to be uh, a little too distracted to want to do anything about it right now, but... Anywho, let's go ahead and see if we can track down Engine. Now, there was a place where we got to see a lair. I don't know if you all noticed it, but there was a lair that was sealed off to us uh, before near the beginning when we were trying to find all of uh, Coco's parts. But uh, we'll get to it down the road. But now we come across a barrier where there's... Uh, that we can't pass through, and now a random titan comes up Rash, here. He looks pretty tough. And now we have a, your attacks, a tutorial. You use a charged attack to smash through. So now we're going to finally get job, Crash. to learn about how to deal with titans, which we'll eventually get to go deal with eventually. But yeah, you saw that purple barrier. That's basically, you know, put there to keep you from furthering your progress. I think I have a 32 times 32 multiplier. I gotta try to see if I can get as many. Uh, Mojo's here while I can, because, hey, I want to keep this multiplier going as long as I can, you know? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, it was a times two, so. So, yeah, so in reality, I'm at times 16, but that's still relatively good. Alrighty. But, yeah, there's going to be a couple more cutscenes to where we're going to learn how to deal with, with Titans and uh, coming up in these next couple of uh, sets here. That's Ratnish is going to be really tough to deal with. I really want to make sure I get him without him uh, attacking me here. Where you at? Oh, there you go. I was like, I know I didn't defeat you. I know I did not defeat you. So I was like, let me finish you off before you hit me out of my nice combo. I got going on here. Okay. Oh my gosh. They're right there. 
How am I supposed to deal with them? Seriously. Oh, okay, that's how I was supposed to deal with them. Although I hate that I don't get to collect any or really much of the mojo from them. Now, here's something that maybe you are quite as big of a risk taker as I am, but I love to think that I try to, you know, collect that all the mojo I can. Especially if there's a times two multiplier. I'm going to probably regret this! Yep. I knew it. I should have played it safe. Okay. Not worth it now. I'm mad. I am mad. I took a chance and, of course, I fall off. We were so close to it. Our uh, next upgrade, too. And, of course, I fall off and uh, ruin my multiplier. Now I'm going to have to start it over again. Feels freaking bad, man. All right. So now we have another area here where we get Akiwaku's going to summon another Titan that I guess can't really These enemies are strong, Crash, but you're a lot right. faster. Press the Y button at the right time to dodge their blows. So now we have to learn about how to counter, one down, which is an attack go, that I don't really expect to use much here. And thankfully, even if they do attack you, you uh, they can't really hurt you or do any kind of damage. Press the Y button to get him. So, Nicely done, Crash. There you go. Again, I don't expect to use the counter to counter that much. Like that. So, I said, okay, I guess. Crash. Oh, now I was like, oh, I was like, is that it? Attack. Time your dodge and counter and take him out. There you go. Wait a second, I hit him. He should have been taken out. All right. There you go. See, that's what I did the first time, and it didn't even do anything. Come on, game. You got to give me some kind of, like, break here. Cut me some slack. Seriously. I, like, dodged the first time, and when I went underneath him, I didn't attack, and yet it didn't register as me hitting him. I guess you could call it, like, a phantom hit or something, because obviously he wasn't phased by it, but... What are you going to do? I can't believe I so lost my Mojo Multiplier, man. I am all sorts... I'm, all, like, all kinds of upset right now. If only you all could see my face. All right, so now we have a real Titan that's not a uh, tutorial one that was summoned here. So, uh, oh, and it's one that can sneeze. I think that's the Rat Sickle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Rat Sickle here. And I, I, I don't know if I noticed this beforehand, but I, I realize that now the uh, mutants, when they're, you know, kind of possessed here, they're much darker than whenever you do take control of them, which you'll see in a moment, but anyway, we'll deal with this rat sickle here in just a moment. I want to collect Mojo because I am so close to getting another upgrade. Although he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna start coming. I knew, I knew the moment I came by, he was gonna start coming. Okay, no you don't! Alright. Okay, that was close. I was hoping to do the counter, but yeah. If you uh, stun him, just like in the previous game, after you um, hit him for enough hits, um, then they'll be stunned, and then you can take control of them like you could in the previous game by uh, jacking them. So now that we've got a rat sickle under control, let's go ahead and move around a little bit easier and kind of manage things in terms of uh, collecting uh, mojo. Now we can even do more damage to the bushes now, like we couldn't before with Crash. Now, uh, the Titans do have some new features in this game like they could beforehand. Mm, One of the features here is delicious. they can jump. That snack will restore energy. You can freeze sparkling yep. water with this Titan. Right. Give it a try now. Yeah. So they, of course, have a special attack here, and they also have unique attacks with this one. So we can s create a ground here. And actually, I meant to sneeze, but oh well. Close enough. But anyways, yeah. The uh, Titans, one, they have the... some of A lot of them have the ability to jump now, which they didn't in the first game as far as I remember. And um, the other thing that they also can do now is they can do several different attacks, not just one unique special attack, but they have multiple, you know, you know, attacks, not just a melee attack and one special attack. But you do four times the damage yeah. for a short time. Hurry up oh, yeah. and hit somebody. Oh yeah, and that's the boxing glove that was actually not really useful there because there weren't enough enemies to really worry about using it on. But but yeah, there's gonna we're gonna see a lot of reunions with some of these old uh, titans, like we already have with the you know this rat sickle, and you're gonna see just how cool this one is, this guy is. So you saw the ability where you can basically you know freeze uh you know freeze parts of the water. He also can do 
the same thing with these geysers here, which you'll see in a moment by sneezing. And the uh, other thing, let's see you if can I can do this. So, pressure your X. Freeze blast of water. There you go. Bingo. So there you go. So you uh, just uh, hold right trigger, in my case, X button. He'll sneeze. And it's almost as if he like has, he must have a constant stuffy nose, I swear, because he can sneeze at will all the time if he wants. So if we hit the switch, then it'll uh, reveal a cutscene, which reveals moving platforms, which of course lets us know we gotta go that way. Anyways, I'm gonna try to see if I can build up my combo once again. But yeah, the other feature is the Titans also themselves have, um, you know, five different upgrades to basically upgrade their strength and attack power. So whenever you're on a Titan, um, the mojo that you collect will also will actually go towards them and not necessarily co uh, go towards Crash. So it's a you know, cool feature. But I just love the fact that these guys can finally jump. You don't have to worry about not being able to jump before, which I don't know why that Activision decided to think that having you be on a Titan that couldn't jump was going to be a really cool thing. Oh, that's all good. So hit on the switch. It'll open this door. We can come out, go out this way. And we will further our way through this cave as we try to search for a uh, engine's hideout once again, which I'm sure if we had gone the other way, we would have been able to get there, but I don't know if we would have had a way to, to get there. Now, Another cool thing. Oh, geez. Uh, do I want to? I am going to play it safe and uh, stay back here. I'm going to use my special feature. And it didn't work. Hold on. I want to actually uh, take out these crates, but I don't want to do so at the cost of losing my act upgrade. I totally... I was trying to totally sneeze there, and it obviously didn't work the way I wanted to. I probably should have just gotten off the Titan to begin with. Okay. So, is it? That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to sneeze. Can I... How close can I do without... Okay, well, I guess I could always just go up to the TNT box and, and not even do anything with it. Because you don't necessarily have to be up close to it to, to uh, detonate it. But still, I should know better for future reference. All right, anyway... Let's go ahead and at least uh, get these mojos right here. Try to start the combo feature once again. All right, here's another Titan that you can, of course, take control of if you, for some reason, lose the other one. But if you go over here, there's going to be these uh, waters here. And I totally did not fall off. Or apparently I did fall off, but still, I didn't. I thought I stopped myself on a dime. Okay, anyway. I actually meant to sneeze, but I keep forgetting you can also... Please go this way here. Crash, you just All right. unlocked a health upgrade. Now watch that health bar grow. A little bit anyway. All right, cool. So now we've increased our health a little bit here as well. Hopefully I can be able to manage. No, that's okay. I won't feel too bad because of the fact that my combo is already gone. So it's not that big of a deal, but still. It's so hard to kind of remember how I want to handle getting through the crates and everything. Okay, I think we've already cut through here. I want to try to see if we can at least make it through when the rest of this cave. Water blast, you can use a heavy attack to break through them. Okay. That's right, I forgot. You can do that. So if you uh, do this, break through, and then, of course, the water will eventually start going through again, I think. Am I right? No, I'm not right. I was wrong. Okay, I forgot. Maybe it did. I don't know. Okay, anyways, this is where that hill that we were at before basically leads. And lunacy on the wind. So, Engine must be up ahead somewhere. so now we're here to where right back where our engine's hideout is. So if we come uh, here, walk far enough, we'll trigger a cutscene. We see he's in his little window right there, and then uh, we'll uh, I think be able to get access to his hideout. Here, Crash. Go check it out. Yep. Yeah, there's somebody inside. And I love how the door just automatically opens as if Injin is inviting us to go ahead and come on in, which I would find odd. I also find it crazy that I'm like so close to having my first upgrade with the rat sickle and I don't have the ability to at the very least get it. So it's uh, kind of disappointing in a way. But anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and at least cut it here for right now just because of the fact that I want to wait until we start the next episode to get in the hideout. So we'll go ahead and resume, but... Um, next time and we'll track down engine and see what he has to uh, 
say, because he forgot what he was going to say the first time when he came across us when we were messing around with the Envy, but I'm sure maybe he'll remember by the time we get to him. So uh, in the meantime, guys, if you all like this video, please give it a like. Please leave me a comment below. Hit that subscribe button. And when I see you all next time, we will venture inside Engine's hideout and see if you remember what he was going to say. <laughs> so until next time, guys, this is Shadow HB3 signing out, telling you guys, as always, stay perky. I'll see you guys next time.